Hey guys and gals and welcome back to another video with yours truly my name is Coops and today once again I have got Nyx with me we are doing Path of Fire um, so from the last video uh, we got to the end of the first instance and now we've come across two instances both at the same time well this this is new for ArenaNet to like kind of add in two instances in one sort of chapter as it were so that's, that's kind of awesome so we're going to do both of those instances in this video um, there was something that I did come across, some information I came across uh, during our travels doing this bit up up here, over here. Um, Glint has um, another child which keeps appearing randomly uh, in Amnoon called Vlast, which is obviously the brother of Aureen. This was sort of like, wow, cool. mind blown, oh my god, Aureen's got a brother? This is awesome. So. Hopefully we can reunite those two and they'll be all happy and, you know, everything will be sparkly and we'll all live happily ever after. Or that, or they rip each other's throats out, that would be epic. In a kind of traumatising kind of way, because Orion's my baby. But anyway, enough about me, let's let's talk about this instance, let's go. So we're going for this one first, uh, meet with uh, Zalumba in his office. So we're going we're gonna to go for the, the good old orifice. Let's enter the orifice, Nyx. Okay, Bring nice art there, nice art. Let's go. You must be Zalambor. I am. My friends, let's adjourn for now. In the meantime, my casino is yours. Enjoy the Grand Sahil's many luxuries. You spared me from a few more minutes of dealing with those smugglers. For this, I owe you. But next time, make an appointment. Maybe I should explain why I'm here. Oh, I know why you're here, Commander. What I don't know is what it's got to do with me. Elonian wine? Yes. I'll pass. You sure? It's not poisoned or anything. I'm offended, Zalambor. You've never once offered me wine. Ah, I present to you Archon Iberu of the Morden Crescent. Archon, the commanders come to us all the way from Lion's Arch. Our friend here was once a Sunspear who opposed Joko, but it amuses his majesty to break and domesticate his enemies. Careful, Zalambor. As I'm sure you're aware, Chief Counselor Iman invited me here to discuss military aid for Amnoon. It's vital to King Joko's interest that this alliance goes through. Amnoon is among the last of the holdouts. And now, I hear you've been voicing your dissent. Archon, for the sake of our guest, might we drop the innuendo and get to the point? You're right. Oh. What are you? Hello. Enough of this. Make it Make it all. Reduce this eye sort of rubble. Oh, okay. I mean, I've got to say, he looks epic. He looks so, so cool. And he's with the sun spare, it's like. Protecting the living from an undead army isn't one of them. Beat your chest all you like. So don't make it. Oh my god, why would you die? I mean he is a sun spare, which is interesting, because I thought the sun spare were good, but he is a bit of a dick. I'm not gonna lie. Let's kill all these douchebags. Yeah, taste that. Build them up, break them down. Okay, oh, there he is, look. Oh, okay, yeah, let's just leave him be, shall we? My apologies for the unpleasantness, Commander. This is why I insist on appointments. Happy to help. 
mainly because now you owe me. The fact that I'm still able to walk is a point in your favor for sure. And this time of war does make for strange bedfellows. Gormir knows I've had worse. I'm only after Balthazar, you understand. I can't be dragged down by whatever else you've got going on. My organization makes it possible for me to do many things. Fund public works, donate to our refugee guests, keep candle after candle burning at Gormir's temples. <sighs> I never wanted to cross the Morden Crescent, but I suppose it was inevitable. I'm grateful you were here for the Archon's Overture, so I'll keep an ear to the ground on your behalf. Yeah, um, you're welcome. Yeah. All right, okay, so that's that instance. So we've met this, this guy who's just come along, I'm sure our... We'll meet him again, um, and he won't be invulnerable and unable to be killed. So that's that's that. So it kind of knows who we are. That's really didn't progress the story much, but okay. So we're now going to run to the next instance, which is just over there. Raptor. Okay, so just here. I don't know why I clicked now. Um, where's Nex gone? I've lost Nex. He's down there. It's fine. We'll go into <laughs> we'll go into the next instance, um, and this is checking on the Chief Council, Iman, Iman, I don't know. Um, yeah, at this place. Oh, hi, Commander. Your hi. guildmates were just regaling us with tales of your adventures. You honor us. It's not every day a dragon slayer walks through our door. The counselor must have misunderstood my part of the story, or she wouldn't be bending over backward to inflate your ego. Wow, sorry. Well, thank you for the compliment. But this time, I'm not after a dragon. I'm after Balthazar. Do you have any information on his whereabouts? The god himself? We only know he's constantly on the move, chasing who knows what. And that Amnoon is essentially surrounded by his troops, which maybe you have some insight into. We're at a bit of an impasse. Joko's government sent representatives of the Morden Crescent to Amnoon to offer military support against the Forged. I think I ran into those representatives at the casino. There may be fewer of them now. The Morden Crescent may no longer be the honorable Sunspears they once were, but they would make powerful allies. And in a time like this, we need all the help we can get. You people have history books? Open any one of them and it'll tell you short-term gains bring long-term trouble. The Chief Counselor has the right idea. We should be grateful the Morden Crescent are even considering helping us. We should fly Joko's standard and make it clear, we welcome his kingdom's support. Ah, the lapdog. We've resisted Joko for years. I'm not about to let him waltz in. And without a fight? Never. It's nonsense. Our only option is to align ourselves with Cormier's priesthood and the remaining Sunspears. Allying with either side will only lead to future conflict. Amnon has been independent and should remain independent. And round and round it goes. I'd welcome any counsel you might have, Commander. Ah, oh, don't make me choose. Ah, oh, you're gonna make me choose. Oh, it's easy for your char friend to dismiss the threat we face. Joko is nobody's first choice, but we can't afford to turn down the Archon's offer. The Mordant Crescent are the only ones with the strength to ensure our survival. Your survival? Do you want to survive as a member of Joko's awakened army? The Sun Spears numbers are weakened, but their involvement could still be a beacon of hope. Their order has sacrificed everything to defy Joko and the Mordant Crescent. They'll protect us from the Forge. Amnoon must remain independent. Our doors have always been open. It's how we survived this long. 
The moment we pick a side, we're asking for trouble from the others. And you, Counselor? You're awfully quiet over there. There are no good options here. All of these plans are suicidal. I can't endorse any of them. Hmm. I think if anything, just for nostalgia's sake, I would go with the Sunspear. Just because way back in Guild Wars 1, you you became a Sunspear. So, yeah, I think I would probably join them. And Joko, meh, you know, a bit of a douche who I'd rather kill than, than be friends with, to be fair. Spear Marshal Cormier was a local hero, even before she fought a fallen god and took his power. Her sun spears have always encouraged these people to keep fighting, even when darkness is closing in. They may be a small group now, but an alliance with the sun spears would be the light in the dark this city needs. These people should just look out for themselves. The minute these yapping windbags let a creature like Joko into this city, they give up any hope of freedom. He might be the biggest gun around here, but what happens after the Forged are defeated? Every decision you make has a cost. In this case, all the people have to do is serve Joko forever after they die. What a deal! <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, 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 I don't... Joko's got the most power and technically as a, the leader of Dragon's Watch I should be doing what's best to take down Balthazar which obviously, signing with Joko would, would be the most obvious choice. Um, but the Sunspear can rise up you know, or we can keep everything neutral and just, yeah, no, no, I'm going to go with the Sunspear. Thank you for your input, Commander. We'll fly the symbol of Cormier and the Sunspear resistance. Amnoon will be a wellspring of hope, a light for the rest of the desert to follow. Cormier be praised. No oh, good thinking. There's no way history will repeat itself when this is all over. Shut up. I'm inspired already. King Joker will make sure we regret this decision. You... You just killed us all! The Sun Spears are a liability. They need our help more than we need theirs. A moment, Commander? Either way, they would have bitched at me for it, so you know what, meh. Shut up. These people are desperate. Caught up in a war they don't understand. Balthazar came to the desert for Krakatoric, not for them. But why? Why is he doing it? I don't know. This is why I wanted you to pick the Sun Spears. To represent Cormier. She might guide us to answers or intervene in Balthazar's actions. Especially if his goal is noble, but his path is not. Your hope is... inspiring. Thanks. Have you heard from Tiny? I couldn't get a clear signal. Guess I should try again. I have some big news to share. Go on. The Exalted said Orin was Glint's second scion, but we didn't know what had happened to the first. And now? His name is Vlast. He's been carrying on Glint's work by protecting people from Kralkatorik and the Branded. That's wonderful news. Another dragon ally. I feel like Cormier is already leading us to a resolution. Tiny will be over the moon when she hears. There must be some place that's clear of interference. I guess that's where we're going. Find places. Clear of interference. Um, so, I'm guessing it's not going to be uh, an instance. So, I will just end the video here. But, um, yeah, the, the whole thing with Balthazar, what's his plans? Um, I mean, from the trailer, it, it may have been a huge spoiler. And I'm, I'm leaning towards that's probably what the truth is. But, basically... You heard Balthazar say, I will destroy the dragons and take their power. I will, you know, basically absorb the power of the dragons. And I think that's probably what he's trying to do. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope that was just a, a huge curveball by 
arena net but by them actually putting it in a trailer and if that is the the case it's be like yeah bravo you know what the hell why tell us what he's actually doing and kind of ruin half the story by putting it in the trailer before it's even been released but anyway <laughs> that's enough of that so basically now yeah we all know that uh, Vlast is um, Aureen's brother so I'm guessing at some point we're going to go and hunt that dragon down that's going to be epic to see that dragon um, obviously we are trying to protect Kralkatorik from uh, Balthazar so we've got to got to get in there and try and, and try and help but uh, I have to wonder whether Vlast is going to like the fact that we are here to protect Kral you know so oh things happening things happening so um, I would just say a big big thumbs up for the whole uh, one chapter two instances do either one you want first I, I do like that that's pretty cool so but that's it for today um, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll catch you next time uh, I'll be uploading a video tomorrow um, and that is the next part so I'll see you then ta-ta